Hello everyone and welcome back for another LEGO DC Comics review and today it is Brainiac Attack. It is recommended ages 6 through 12 and it's set number 76040 and is 179 pieces. Now this comes with four minifigures, Brainiac, Martian Manhunter, Supergirl, and Superman. And this will retail for about $24.99 and is a retail Target exclusive here in America and also be available for shop at home in LEGO stores and here in America and I'm assuming in Europe and everywhere else so that's where you guys will get to be able to get it if you're not in America if you're in America you'll be able to find it at a Target and you'll be able to find it at a Target right now and if you guys are like how would, how do you have this set already where'd you get it I got it at Target and I'm pretty sure most of your guys' Targets if you just go there and um, most Target stores are chock full of these sets now and uh, I would just call ahead and um, they'll tell you. Usually you can give them the UPC code and I'll put that in the description below if you want to find this easier. Just call a Target, give them the UPC code and ask them if they have it and if they don't say hey can you check all the other stores in your in the area and they can do that for you and then you can call that store and have it put on hold for you and then there you go then you have this set. <laughs> and so yeah this is a amazing set. I was so happy to see it. I didn't even I accidentally found it. I wasn't even expecting to find it. So, uh, very, very cool. And so, yeah, let's get on to the awesome minifigure close up. Alrighty, so the first minifigure I'm going to show you out of the lot is Superman. Now, this is just your basic Superman. Uh, he's just like he is in the Dark Side Invasion set, except the fact that he does have a special back printing on the head and it is his laser eyes just like in the Man of Steel sets so pretty cool and you know if you want to have that play function like he's shooting the lasers at Brainiac's ship that would be really cool and it's just a really nice feature on him that I like and then if you guys noticed if you guys haven't seen the new ones the capes are actually a lot different they're a different kind of felt and they're a lot more softer, a lot more durable and flexible. If you put them in ships and stuff like that, they won't crinkle up and ruin on you. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And, you know, if you guys haven't seen the Superman before, he's just like this normal blue color with the Superman logo and his belt and the little red uh, belt piece there for the tights. Very clever. And he does feature the back printing as all Lego minifigures do now. <laughs> they almost all have Lego back printing now. So that's pretty cool. Let's just get that back. And so yeah, that is Superman. And so the next minifigure is one that I was probably most excited for, and that is Supergirl. Now I've always wanted a Kara minifigure. Oh my gosh, ever since Lego Batman 2, I've wanted this figure. And now She's real. This is a classic version of her. Um, she's just awesome. She has awesome leg printing. So yeah, she has this nice little swoopy blonde hair. It's like a light blonde. It's not like the darker kind of blonde like um, Green Arrow had in the other Dark Side Invasion set. Um, very cool. And what I love, she has a nice female face, but what I love about her that they did was they actually put on the laser eyes for her. So that is pretty dang awesome. I like that a lot. That feature is amazing on her. I just love that variant. It's pretty cool. And she does feature that new cape, but what's kind of, you know, annoying about that is this hair piece. This hair piece does not like to cooperate with this cape. So as you can see, it's kind of a struggle, but if you get it down right, then you'll be all set. And then obviously she has the same sort of torso design. Obviously she's female and we have the super girl logo on there with her belt and then the awesome leg printing on that. I love that leg printing. It's so awesome and you know it's better than just red legs because that would look pretty awful. And then she does feature her back printing on there. There we go. And the leg printing doesn't continue onto the back but Lego doesn't do that so nothing I would expect. So that is Supergirl. So the next minifigure I have from the Justice League is Martian Manhunter. Now Lego did produce a exclusive shop at home like if you spent a certain amount you got a Martian Manhunter but as you can see they're a lot different 
Um, obviously, they would make a redesign if they're going to put it in a set to kind of keep this one exclusive. This one's more of like New 52 Marching Manhunter, and then this one is just, you know, more of the classic one. So let's take a look. He is very cool. I love the head. The head is a lot better than the other one. I kind of like the white pupils a lot better. And the jawline is just awesome. And for his cape, he has a blue new felt cape. But he also has sort of like this collar that goes around his head that most Martian Manhunters uh, variants have. And it's not, the, it's not the felt cape. It's more of the old cape. So just what they had um, just previously. And of course he has, you know, his little golden buckles on there that keep his nice X going across his chest and his little belt. And he does feature the back printing. So that's cool. How easy is that? I can show back printing with capes with just, you know, a turn rather than the struggle. The struggle of capes. So, and unfortunately he does not have the leg printing, but I've seen most people take the legs of that Martian Manhunter and just stick them on. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like on that. I mean, obviously you'd have to have this Martian Manhunter to do that, but yeah, that looks horrible. <laughs> I would not recommend doing that. Lego should have, you know, printed their own legs onto this one. But of course, you know, you can't complain because they did do the custom collar there. So yeah, so that is the Martian Manhunter. And so the last minifigure of the set is Brainiac. Now, this Brainiac is pretty awesome. Just the fact of the actual ink on him that is pad printed is it's this awesome silver color. And that is pretty awesome. And let's just go from the head. He has a nice, you know, lime green skin as he does in the video game. And he has his signature three circles, you know, in that sort of pattern that is, you know, indicates the Brainiac. Um, logo so he's very cool he has the red eyes with the white pupils in there and just an overall nice minifigure and going down to his torso where he has all of his sort of mechanical because he's an android all of his mechanical work in there and very cool continuing on to the back and he does have back head printing with the continuation of his circle so I thought that was really neat I really like that and then the back of it's just more of the mechanical stuff you know, just like it was in the video game, like a Batman 3. So, and then he just has black legs, and I wish he had leg printing, but man, you, you, gotta, you gotta take it what you can get. And he has the black hands, sorry, excuse me, black arms, and green hands. So, pretty cool minifigure. And with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at his ship. Alrighty, so here's the close-up of his vehicle and it's very cool just right off the bat we see this really nice skull feature and you know just a lot of brainiac ships have this sort of feature where you know it's sort of like brainiac's face but you know he's all about expansion and you know learning and knowledge and just conquering worlds so very cool i love the spider legs on it you do get six of those and it's very cool they're just put on there with that little technic uh Technic piece down there, so that's pretty cool. And it does feature four stickers on the outside, two on the outer sort of like UFO dome pieces, and then back engines, and then they're back there. And then this gun, I'll go ahead and show that because that's going to be falling a lot. Well, actually, on the back engines has this nice purple radar dish, so that's pretty cool. And then so we have this gun on the side here that is powered. And very cool, and it goes down to the bottom here, goes up into the laser gun, and that laser gun is actually, I really like that detail on that laser gun. Very, very cool on that. And just zooming out just a tad bit, and it's just an overall nice design. And I'll show you the play feature in a second with the jumper, but we have a your average flick fire missile on the side here. Not gonna flick that, because I hate those. And let's take a look at the cockpit. The cockpit, I'm going to take that off, has a nice dome piece that just lifts up. And on the inside, we have a, another sticker. On the inside there, and Brainiac just sits down on his throne of lies. No. And he just sits down there. And there you go. Brainiac. Boom. So that is pretty cool. And now before I get to the outro of this video, I would like to show you 
the play feature with the jumper. Okay, so basically with these new jumper pieces, you're supposed to be able to flick it down and then land on that gun. I'm pretty horrible at it, so let's see how many tries it takes before I get frustrated. Oh, that was a way over jump on that. Come on, it's like a game. You can get the whole family around and play this. Who can shoot down the Brainiac before I get frustrated. Okay, come on, we can do this. Oh, maybe if I could actually get the jumper. I'm not a big fan of these jumper pieces. You just push down on the plastic there and it jumps. Oh, I didn't want to do it too hard. Oh, people are going to be like, why is this review like 50 minutes? You know. Oh, there we go. I got it. Oh, yeah. Let's get to the outro. Well, that is it, guys, for this review today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a really great set. I really recommend you picking it up. And just how I said in the intro of this video, um, you know, because right now, when they're out, uh, obviously if you're watching this review like three months from now, they're probably all out. But if you're watching it like within a couple of days of it coming out, that would probably be useful for you if you actually want to get it. So I really recommend that. And also if you guys love this review or love this set, please like the video and comment down below if you guys have the set, if you want it, if you like it, if you hate it. I read all the comments, so please comment away um, because, you know, People like to be heard, and I liked to, you know, read that stuff because you guys are awesome. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more LEGO superheroes and the more LEGO DC Comics reviews and all the above. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. You have an awesome day, and goodbye.